Hey everyone, my name is Anders and today we're going to talk about being invisible or incognito in Google Chrome. Now, I have Google Chrome open, I've been surfing a couple of other tabs, but perhaps I don't want to save the history of what I'm about to do on here. Maybe I don't want people to be able to know what bank I'm with, or maybe I don't, just don't want to share uh, what I'm about to do online with anyone else. It's very easy to go incognito on Google Chrome. Now, you can just open a new tab, which is easy enough, but in this case, we're going to open an incognito tab. So we're going to go over to our wrench icon in the right-hand side of the uh, Google Chrome box, click that, and then you're going to open a new incognito window. It's the third option down. So we're going to click that, and a new window for Google Chrome will open. We know it's incognito because it's colored differently than the normal Google Chrome window, and we have this little spy icon in the upper right-hand corner. It also tells you you've gone incognito on the main page. Now, whatever I input here, whether it's just searching on Google or going to uh, youtube.com, whatever you're trying to do, this is not going to be saved in your history at all. So if there is something that you want to do that you don't want others seeing, just make sure that you use the incognito option, which once again is clicking the wrench icon and clicking the new incognito window. If you're a Mac user, you can hit Shift, Command, and N to create a new window. Or if you're using Windows, you can hit Control Shift T or Control Shift N to create this new box. My name's Anders, and today we talked about surfing invisibly or going incognito on Google Chrome.